scrimmage. Again, Safarian Jenkins has not been a big contributor tonight. He's in the slot on the right side. He was the last guy to get back to the line of scrimmage. Sankey weaves his way for three or four. Safarian Jenkins has not been a big factor, and neither has Cason Williams. And both of them are capable of making big plays. In fact, Cason Williams is the guy that, that got the go-ahead touchdown last year in the game in Seattle. He caught a little screen yep. pass with four and a half minutes left and took it for a touchdown. And we've got a guy down, Ben Gardner. So that will stop the hurry up of the Huskies offense. I would say this might be, probably is two down territory for Steve Sarkeesian and Keith Price. They may not get their hands on it too many more times. Time out. Ben Gardner, one of the defensive captains, came out. Apparently he's okay. Looks like he's ready to come back in after one play. How much does Sankey have in the tank after 40 carries last week? He talked to us about how he took care of his body, how he got extra rest. Got eight out of the deal. Sankey this time is not going anywhere. Gardner, who just came back in, makes the tackle. Price in trouble. Got away, trying to get it on the ground. He does. Wow. Nice run by Keith Price. Nifty footwork. Nifty footwork. Uh-oh, but his thumb is bothering him. I think it was where he landed at the end of that play. Really nice job of sidestepping would-be tacklers. Does a nice job of faking out Shane Scove. And at the end of the play, got up really favoring that thumb. Speaking of Scove, he is down for the Cardinals. The Cardinal, rather. Scove made a lot of big plays tonight from his linebacker position. You know, Holly mentioned about Derek Mason talking about how they made adjustments to deal with the tempo offense. The one thing I was really surprised at when we were at Thursday's practice is Stanford, they didn't do any period in practice where they tried to practice going fast on defense. And, and you know, in some senses, that makes a lot of sense because it's hard to get a scout team to duplicate that kind of speed. They're used to it because they play Oregon every year. They play Arizona, who runs that same kind of tempo. And they just kind of coach through it and go through their calls, but they don't actually practice going fast against the scout team. You wouldn't think about more than throwing the ball, bothering the thumb, handing the ball off to a back and banging the thumb yeah. is actually more painful than throwing with a bet with a banged up right thumb. This is a 14th play of the Husky drive that started at their own 20. Quick slant and 